It's kind of crazy The kinds of things life throws at you I never knew I'd feel so safe in your arms Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Victoria, just your average girl on YouTube. And in today's video, I'm going to share some tips and tricks on how you can keep your skin as healthy as possible, how to have a clear skin. These are just some of the things I came up with that works for me and um, that I think could help you too. This video was requested by one of my lovely viewer again. Thank you so much for advising this video. I do see that it can help some of you guys if you're struggling with skin issues. I'm not saying that it's gonna work for you but this is these are some of the things that can definitely help. I also wanted to um, show you guys just a close-up of my face so you can really take a look. No filters, nothing. Okay guys, so this is my face close up with no makeup. Hopefully you guys can see the texture um, and all the details. As you can see, my face is pretty clear right now. I have a few red bumps here at the bottom of my chin, but it doesn't really bother me. You can see that I do have some blackheads on my nose. And I'm the type of person who pops them all the time, so as if I see it, I pop it. But I can't seem to get it all out, and I've tried those nose masks that you peel off. It's supposed to take out all your blackheads. That doesn't work for me, unfortunately. And as you can see, I have some pores here beside my nose. And I notice that as I'm aging, they become more and more noticeable. And my forehead is pretty clear. So this is my skin close up. You can also see that I have a lot of tiny, tiny hair on my face. Uh, but honestly, it doesn't really bother me. Some people like to shave that off. I tried it, but I don't like the afterfill. They say, oh, your face feels so smooth after you shave it. For me personally, I feel stubbly. I'm like, oh, if someone touches my face, they're going to feel it. And what are they going to think? I like it when it's not shaved because then it's actually soft. It's like a fuzzy peach fuzz on my face. Other otherwise, it would be very stubbly and I don't like that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video, and let's hop into the video. All right, so the very first factor that can lead to clearer skin is not a big brainer is drinking lots of water the more hydrated you are the more you excrete all the toxins from your body so try to drink a minimum of two liters every day i'm literally the worst saying this because i don't follow this example i try my best i try to drink as much as possible but I'm definitely not one of those who drink that much. But if you can, try to drink as much water as possible. I'm sure, I'm really, really positive it's going to help you clear your skin, makes your skin more hydrated. If your skin is really dry, drinking lots of water is really important, not just for healthy skin. It helps with many other things. All right, the next point is healthy eating. I'm not saying you have to go on a diet. Just try to avoid really oily foods. Oily foods tend to help pimple formation, which we don't want. So try to stick to lots of fruits and veggies. Um, don't eat deep fried foods. Try to eat grilled, baked chicken and veggies. So all that. And I'm sure it's going to help you with your skin as well. So oily foods tend to make your skin oily, which is the perfect environment for pimples. Pimples itself are oily, you usually like to come out on oily skin. Also, try to avoid sugary foods because bacteria loves to, loves to thrive on sugar. And if you keep feeding the bacteria, it's just gonna come out, it's just gonna appear on your face because pimples are usually caused by bacteria. There's bacteria under your skin. So try to limit sugar in your lifestyle as well. Some of you might have some dairy allergy. Maybe your skin is too sensitive to dairy. So try to look into that. Maybe try if um, cutting dairy out of your lifestyle or diet can help you clear your skin. Next point is skincare. Of course, it's skincare. Now, this skincare can be really different for each individual. I'm just going to talk about what I do personally. Make sure you do not sleep in your makeup. Try to always take it off. So 
so I don't do many I don't do much to my skin I don't really have uh, plenty of steps in my skincare routine all I do is I sometimes wash my face with plain water and if I wear makeup I use this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water to remove my makeup. I swear by this, this is I think the best makeup remover out in the market. And then after I take off my makeup, I like to go in with my favorite moisturizer. Now my moisturizers vary a lot. It depends on the season and also depends on which one I have because sometimes I run out and I like to try out new ones. Currently I am using the Innisfree Green Tea Balancing Lotion EX. Um, it's a very light, very liquidy consistency. I like to use more lighter lotions or moisturizers for my face during the summertime because during the summertime my face doesn't get that dry. However, during wintertime I like to switch it up and go for a more moisturizing one, a thicker consistency. So I really enjoyed Clinique moisturizer or I just picked up recently the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This is a very, very thick consistency. My God, I, I even find it hard to kind of spread it across my face. So I think this is going to be great for winter time. I haven't really used it. I also find that the True Cream Aqua Balm by Belief is amazing. It smells so good. Really moisturizing again, but very lightweight at the same time. So these are some of the uh, moisturizers that I've been using and thankfully I'm not someone who has a lot of pimples as you can see and I'll go into that why but if I do have some sort of pimples I like to use the clean and clear essential dual action moisturizer. I did find this helped me a lot reduce the redness if I have pimples but again as I said I don't really get pimples anymore as often which I I'm really lucky about I know people say don't pop your pimples I'm the one who if I see a pimple I pop it right away blackheads pop it I find some sort of enjoyment out of it and to me it doesn't really stick on my face like some people if you pop it it just makes it worse for me I think it kind of helps it just dries it up and the next day it's gone so that's all about my skincare it's not a lot I don't do much honestly Let's move on to the next point. Um, all right, so the next one is birth control. By no means I'm promoting the use of birth control. But personally, since I've been on birth control, I have not had any significant pimples. If anything, very, very tiny, maybe once a month, one spot on my face, but it doesn't last that long either. So birth control definitely helps with pimples. So a lot of people simply go on birth control just to get rid of their acne or to control their acne because it does help with that because a lot of acnes are hormonal and you put hormones in your body with the birth control and it uh, all adjusts anyways so if you are struggling you might one option for you is that you could look into starting to take birth control i'm not promoting the use to me, it's just been really beneficial in many ways. Next point, which is the last point, which you might not think of it as one, but it is tanning. Um, I know tanning is not great, but I've noticed that when my skin is a bit tanner and I go out, tan a little bit, I get darker, my skin tone just evens out and it looks like I have much healthier, glowier skin. And if I have pimples, I guess kind of it just blends in a little, a little bit more with my skin tone because my skin is a bit darker. And overall, just as I said, my skin just looks much healthier and more even skin tone when I tan during the summer, but which you can't really do all year round. But if you want a little tip, you can use self tanners during winter time. I've noticed um, that. It looks really nice. Oh, it, it can be a little bit orangey though. So I try to avoid self tenors on the face. But that's pretty much it. These are all the tips and little tricks and factors that can contribute to clear skin. Ways you can get clearer skin if you haven't tried any of these. Give it a try. 
I hope you found this video somewhat helpful. If you did, make sure you like this video, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe to my channel. We are on our way to 500 subscribers. We are so close, so close. And that means a lot to me already. Have a great, great day, guys. See you in my next video. Bye.